Just going into Cardiff Market to visit Jonathan Ashton, one of the most established and oldest fishmongers in the city, to see how they're coping with the, with the crisis and, and what they make of the government's policy. So Jonathan, how long have you been in Cardiff Market? Well, the, the shop itself has been here since the market opened in 1891. I myself have been here full time since 1980, and as a Saturday lad since about 1973. How has the pandemic been for you and, and your business here? Well, the nightmare. Our uh, turnover has been reduced by about 70%. We obviously furloughed most people off because the market was closed during the major lockdown. When things started getting up and running and restaurants reopened to a certain extent, with social distancing, things went almost back to normal, probably 80% of our normal turnover. So it was green shoots and everything looked good, but uh, now we're going to another big turnaround and it's come back to square one. Well, it's come from all over, all over the planet, really. The scallops from Scotland, you fry them. Jonathan's the best chef here. You taught this gentleman about how to cook stuff. We have a lot of Eastern European friends. We always buy carp at Christmas, it's always very popular for them, so we sell a lot of carp at Christmas. As I said, there's more scallops, scallops everywhere. People love scallops so for a start or on Christmas Day. Smoked salmon, packs of smoked salmon. If people don't want turkey, you want a bit of a change. A lot of people have lobsters for their main course. So how many people do you employ? Uh, we're about 20 full-timers and probably half a dozen part-timers. Off camera you told me that you, you, you've taken out a loan just to survive. Yeah, I took a £100,000 loan out, which took a bit of get-in at first, but uh, without it I don't think we would have survived. Um, I, could, I would probably would have had to sell my house or something just to try and get, go, try and get something going, but uh, Luckily, we managed to get the loan, so we're living on that at the moment. So you, you've not laid any staff off, no? I've, I've managed to keep everybody. Uh, we're like a bit of a family here, you know. It's a very old company. We've got a lot of employees been here a long time. So that's the last thing I want to do. It's easy just to lay people off. I'd rather not do that. We've, we've got a nice lobster here. He's happy, nice and calm. He's going back to sleep now. What did you think of the fire break and being given just four days notice? Well, the uh, government really didn't have any idea what sort of effect that would have on a lot of businesses like ourselves, carrying a big stock cut to supply hotels and restaurants. So a lot of that, a lot of the stock, for instance, thousands of thousands of pounds that have just been thrown in the bin. But it's just another kick in the teeth, really. Um, and, and I don't know how much thought goes into these things. Um, it seemed to have no real idea of real life, what's going on um, and how they're affecting people. Um, personally, I've had major, so I've had a few um, health problems and you know, I, don't, I, I, I have a very, I have tremendous difficulty sleeping at night. I wake up in the night, start worrying about everything again. Staff, the business, and you know, just, just been, that's been ongoing for months. And, just another kick in the teeth. How do you think Drakeford, the First Minister, has handled things? I think he's totally out of touch with real life. Uh, I don't think he's got any idea of the, the general public, how they view him or how they view the situation. It's, just, it's, it's like something on a whim. It's just, um, he makes it up as he goes along. If you could give a message to Drakeford, what would it be? Well, I would just ask him to, to take, to actually speak to speak to people and, and see how it's affecting them and try and get into the real world. One minute you're setting out rules for restaurants and social distancing and only one 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 family at one table. Fair enough. People still go out and people can still take money and keep the keep their businesses going. But the way it's going at the moment there's gonna be so many casualties of businesses. Don't know what's gonna happen. I just feel the worst.